Hello Stampers, my name is Linda Bedinger and I'm an independent Stampin' Up! demonstrator in Denver, Colorado. I'm so glad you could join me this afternoon. I have a project for you that's a little different and kind of fun uh, and it's mostly using designer series paper from the Honey Bee collection that's free. I have something you may I'm sure you've seen these cards before and you may have made them and it's probably been a while and it's kind of fun. So let's just get started. Okay, here's my project for the day and I thought this one would be kind of a fun one to do with this beautiful graphic paper that we have with the Honey Bee Collection. What you need to do this is I've used a black base that is uh, eight and a half by five and a half scored and folded at four and a quarter and then I have two pieces of Whisper White that measure four by five and a quarter one for the inside and one for the outside then you need a little piece of scrap to cut out your circles here and I've made my second one for this card that we're making today a little bit bigger so this one is two inches this one is one and three quarters inches and this one is one and a half inches and I thought that the larger size would actually be in more a better scale for this project okay so where we're going to do most of our work is right on here and I have cut a whole bunch of half inch strips so what I'm going to need is my snail my silicone mat and my strips of paper and I have lots of them cut here way more than I need but I wanted to have lots of choices so I'm going to start this one the same way I started that one and that is with this piece this beautiful piece of graphic paper and I thought to eliminate uh, messing with corners here that I would start this one right at the corner at the top and take it right to the corner on the bottom and what I'm going to do is I'm going to use my dot runner tape runner here just because I want to make sure that in fact I'm going to use two silicone mats today one for my piece and one for my gluing and this is a very simple card to make and they're very festive and if you have a lot of scraps out of a favorite uh, paper uh, collection that you have this is a perfect project and I didn't do any serious measuring on this I want one of these sides to go on that side of the corner and I want this one to come just to this side of the corner and once you get your piece down then all you really have to do is trim away anything that's excess on your uh, back side of your card now on these cards all you're really doing is adding pieces and this is another place my little trimmer comes in awfully handy I'm going to put it right here a little bit off camera but just to square off some ends because I've already been pulling around with this I have some ends that have been trimmed and the only requisite here is that you go square to this piece of paper and off to the side now this one I'm going to do light light dark dark um, and I'm going to leave just ever so small a margin there and I'm eyeballing it and you may be more comfortable um, putting measurements and little pencil marks and that kind of thing and that's fine I don't have the patience for it so <laughs> I'm going to set my paper here so that it has that little margin and put it in place and then trim my piece off and then this piece can be used 
again with um, in another place on the card front if that's what I want to do. There we go. So now I'm going to take, um, maybe I will just use that piece again and use the other end of it to put it more down on this end of the paper. So I'm just going to, and you get the idea, this is actually quite quick and kind of fun to figure it out. If the, those of you that are quilters will get this right away uh, about piecing and putting patterns together and so on. And um, so let's see, how about some stripes now? So I'm going to go ahead and put some glue on the back of my piece. And I'm using the, the dot runner in case I have to lift one of these up. I'll be able to do it for a little while anyway. So I'm going to set that one down so that it has the same margin and then run it alongside the paper that's already there. Because once you get this one set, everything else kind of shapes up. So uh, I'm going to stop immediately being so symmetrical and go to a different kind of dark pattern on this side. And I'm going to use this one with polka dots and set it next to the honeycomb here because I want this to be more random. And as long as the spacing's roughly the same all across your card, then it's a pretty easy thing to mess with. And maybe this one should be next. And what I'm going to do here is match the margin of these two along here and but go opposite so that you're not always going the same way or you won't get that fun pattern. So this one is a fairly long piece. So I'm going to put some glue along there and I'm going to set this one down right here coming up the card and then trim that one off. Now you can put more pieces down and then trim more of them at once. But for me, it I wanted to be able to really see what it was going to look like when I did it. And so on this one, I think I will switch up on this side and do this one that's got some black and white pattern on it with some gold. And in fact, I think I'll flip it around and maybe even trim off a little piece here so that I get more of that gold showing right away. So like that. So this is very fun and kind of therapeutic actually. And no two will ever turn out the same. And what a fun way to use up some scraps. And I can think of lots of things I've got in my retired fin that would be great fun to do to make up a bunch of, on this one, I'm going to make this one a thank you card, to make up a bunch of thank you cards to have on hand. So I'm just going to keep trimming these off as I go so that I have the square ends I need. But I'm going to save these little pieces because invariably there's just a little spot that will need um, a little bit of help. So let's see, if I go maybe with this pattern piece across here, I'm going to just add some snail and set that one in place across here. And let's see, uh, I haven't used I haven't used this pattern yet, so maybe I'll set this pattern here. And maybe I'll go this way again. So I'm going to add some snail to the back of this and set this one 
to go across here. And you can get very scientific, I'm sure, um, about where things get placed. But for me, random is kind of fun. So I think I'm going to use this polka dot pattern. So I need to cut an end off so I have a, a flat end. And I'm going to put this one maybe across this way. And it's just a matter of what appeals to your eye. So really kind of fun to figure out all this stuff. Let's see, I was going to go up here, I thought. So like that. And then I don't think I've used the pattern on the back side of this one yet. And that's these pretty gold V's. So I'm going to cut off an end here. So I will just speed up the video. You get the idea now. And I'll be back as soon as I have my pieces all set in place. Okay, so now you can see that I have finished putting all of my pieces on here, and then I ended up having to cut this down. I forgot um, that this needed to be smaller in order to get these pieces around here. So this white piece is three and a half by four and three quarters. And then I put my pieces around the edge here to show out about a quarter of an inch all the way around. And now that piece is ready to go on the inside. And there we've got a decoration already there on the inside and we can do something else as well. Now, I've got all of these little pieces and I can continue to make more cards. Um, but I've always wanted to do one of these cards, and I, uh, I was looking at the pieces, and I had a couple of strips, and it just occurred to me that, that this would be perfect paper to do this with. And so this piece is now ready to go on the front of my card. And isn't that just cheery and awful pretty? And there we go. And it's a way to use up your scraps to save those. Now, I've already punched out my pieces here. And in this stamp set that this coordinates with, the Honey Bee stamp, there's a real pretty thank you here. And I thought that I would do a couple things. I fussy cut out from the designer series paper one flower that had the gold and the black and I thought that might be kind of fun to put on the front of this card and since these are all basically rectangles it I like the idea of putting a square on here but on this one 
I'm really tempted to do something a little bit different and put these on here like this instead of um, doing it the expected way. So I'm going to do that. I'm going to offset the gold and the black and then I'm going to stamp my thank you which I've got mounted here. It's a real small one. And I've got my memento here. And I'm just going to get this stamped up. And I'm going to put this stamp more in the middle on one side here to the left. There we go. And then I can sort of wrap this flower around this side of it. And I think I like the way that looks. So I think that's dry. Go ahead and put my thank you down here in my circles. And then I think uh, I'm just going to add a little bit of snail to the back of this. And then I think I will add dimensionals to the whole piece to pick it up. But that way, my flower can go right around my whole piece here. Isn't that pretty? Just as cute as it can be. And the only thing I'm going to trim off is this stem on the bottom. Now I'm going to take a couple of black dimensionals on my circles. And then it's just placement. I kind of, I don't know whether I like it better centered or down here. I think it might be kind of fun to center it and break up all of those patterns with some circles. There. Ha! <laughs> I think it's just as cheery as it can be. So that is my project for the day. Thank you so much for stopping by my YouTube channel today. I do so appreciate it. And if you don't already have a Stampin' Up! demonstrator, I'd love to be your demonstrator. Or you could join my team. Uh, it's a wonderful time to join and I have lots and lots of resources available to my team members. Um, we do swaps among ourselves um, on a monthly basis. It's not mandatory that you do them, but those people that would like to participate can. I have resources available for technical help and I have, uh, we have lots of programs that are available that are free resources that make being a demonstrator just a little bit easier. Um, and I'd love to have you on my team. So it's February. So I think what I'll do is do uh, the Honey Bee Bundle, which is the stamp set here and this die set. Uh, so you don't fussy cut out this flower. There's actually a die to do it. And there's dies for the bees, honeycomb, and the hive. So that'll be the prize for February is the Honey Bee Bundle out of the mini catalog. And um, so that's it for me today. Again, thanks for stopping by. And I'll be back soon with more tips, more projects, and more cards. Bye. Bye.